Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is the designer for From the Depths. Uh, first of all, we're going to just say there's some good news, bad news sort of situation at the moment. Um, with good news is that uh, there's been a little dev update, so um, I put out a few little issues, and um, it's amazing. This is the great thing about this game. You can pop if you do publish up some of the bugs you may have, you know, set them down, give the proof, etc. They can turn it around very quickly. So just mentioned a small little bug, and already got an update that fixes it. Um, the main campaign issue of I've also found out what the, the, that seems to be responsible for um, good again bad again it's due to the flares which was a new addition seems to be causing all of my the headache with the frame rate uh, the bad news is I put it on just about all of the ships so I've got to go through all of the ships to remove it or disable it for the moment until I can get a fix um, until that's finally fixed I don't think that's in this patch at this moment but I will give it a go and see if that um, has been fixed anyway um, so rather than going straight into the campaign what I am gonna do is do a little bit of building something that's been on my mind to do for a little while um, so as usual uh, we're first of all this is most we're gonna be split into a few episodes because it's gonna be a bit longer than normal possibly a little bit more complex because um, there's multiple stages to this particular build so expect a couple of it next couple few episodes to be about this this build as such so what is this the idea is that um, uh, and time codes will be in all of the, my videos so if you want to skip to various sections then please do so so uh, the idea is that I want my fleet the uh, turtle fleet and the other fleets to be more responsive automatically to whatever enemies they are fighting against what I mean by that is, at the moment, I decide what ships are brought in, which is fine. I've got no problems with that. Um, but it would be nice if the actual um, AI, one of the ships, could like be the controller and decide, oh, we've got uh, flying ships, therefore we need to bring in some ships into this battle which are good at combating flyers. Oh, we've got big surface ships. We need ships that will combat that, etc. So we can um, have a system which will... Um, bring in ships which are suitable for what we're going against. So what I was thinking of is a carrier based system um, so basically a carrier um, which can spawn in and or release vehicles appropriate to the enemies they're facing or at least that's the idea. Um, it would still need some more normal ships to act as escort, just like in a real carrier situation. But um, let's first of all just go and have a look at the in-game technology that we're going to use. So I've set up a little test area, a little platform. Let me just go to the little platform. My guy's there already, and here we are. So here we have a little platform uh, with a nice little ru rubber runway, and I've coated that in rubber to stop it getting damaged when the ships. Um, uh, are launched but we'll see on that so what is the technology I'm going to turn the interface back on now what is the technology that allows us to do this right well the primary is the vehicle spawner now the vehicle spawner which um, in uh, the build menu and um, we have an extra bit here about we'll go through it another time about um, changing the number of blocks you show but anyway um, under miscellaneous vehicle blueprint spawner so you know you you can place that down and it will allow you to uh bring items into the game from that ship using the resources which are available to you you've already picked up we're in designer we have infinite at the moment so normally you go in here pick an item and it starts building it so if i just pick out one of my um it doesn't really matter i can pick whatever i want to uh this may we'll see i haven't tried this one it might go a bit weird yes it will um one of the problems you've got as you can see here this is a little problem you see it's building it halfway in the ship which is very annoying and you can see it's sending the ship all over the place yeah so did this for a reason just to show how bad this can get even with a large vehicle like this and eventually it will pop out and then it goes a bit haywire 
Um, so yeah, we'll we'll just uh, uh, pop that uh, out of the game. Let's just take that out. So it goes a little haywire when that does that. Oops, so we're now launching one which will be okay, but we'll just uh, let that go through. So you have to be a bit careful um, with this. And the way to round it is to put origin blocks to ensure, you can see this one is now building a nice range just away, not, it's a little bit above, a little bit behind, it's not, just touches a little bit as it launches, but otherwise it's in a nice position. So let me scrap these just to get them out of the way for a second. There we go. So that's the launching uh, platform idea. As you can see, we've got a nice little runway here. Now some of the ships, another way of launching these is you could build this and point this vertically up. So I could um, just put this way, rotate it round and build it that way and build them straight above. Um, so that's, that's quite possible and then they'll launch straight up. Um, quite possible to do that, might do that with some. But for the moment, I like the idea of having a nice little runway. On the, uh, on the ship to uh, launch them off of. It just feels right. Um, okay, so how are we gonna get this to build ships automatically? Um, basically, control blocks here. Now, um, the main bit in a control block that does this is, uh, let me just get a little bit more stable on this, that's better. Uh, if you go to the control block, the, the certain the central affected section has a constructible spawners and you can set the range which is a change that was just in the latest patch so that um, only the ones in the certain range spawn their default vehicle so how, what is the default vehicle well if we go into the spawner you see the th center section is automatic control block spawning now the settings in here um, the first most important bit is here you must put the name of a ship and you can only have one and you must include the path the, the folder name as well if it, from the route so we're in Atlanteans and then you'd have to go down to Flying Ray and it all has to be correct and you get a nice tick box if it is correct the other settings are standard how far away and as you saw you need enough distance but not too far away how long to hold it before it releases and hold percentage now obviously we want to release this when it's 99% done plus a couple of seconds just for it to uh, uh, finish building in the automatic control block spawning area there's a couple of other action areas apart from the selection of which vehicle to spawn you also have to say how many spawns will it have alive at any one time so this means when it starts spawning, it will spawn X number of these particular ships. And you can go up to 10. Um, and it will keep that number alive. So um, if they die, it will spawn another one, etc. I believe that is correct. Um, subject to testing, of course. Then the max lifetime spawns, as far as I'm uh, aware, basically if for whatever reason some of these get destroyed or you scrap them it will keep on spawning some more to replace this figure of three until it gets to ten now i believe is the correct way that that works so that's how we're going to spawn in aircraft um but then how how are we going to make it selective well the idea is going to be to have multiple of these um, with slightly different ships uh, that they would try and spawn in and then we'll get a, a, another block um, that will decide look at um, what target we're up against so we'll possibly get uh, let me just get the right system here an AI local weapon controller as an example we'll put it next to say the spin block here and then we can say ah oh, okay uh, for the flying rays a ship so we'll say right um, it's got to be um, uh, within say thousand meters or it could be 1200 we might want to make that larger but within a certain range um, if it's not without outside of that range don't bother to build it maybe try to do something else 
minimum altitude, right? We, we want surface vessels, not under the water. So it's to be four. And then here it might be, um, say, a maximum of, say, 20. So that would do surface vessels. We could set some other sets up. We can say, right, well, is it only slow vessels, fast vessels, number of blocks? So we could set only very big vessels, etc. We can um, decide what is going to be our um, requirement. This fire controller will effectively move a turret, which will, um, if I just uh, simulate it here, move a block in front of this controller. If I just simulate it by going there, you can see the block moves in front, and we should, with any luck, get it automatically building a ship. So then within, uh, it looks like a reasonable time. Uh, this is gonna be one of the keys, is getting this building process quite quick. So, um, what's that taken? About 10 seconds so far? So that's getting ready, it's almost built. Obviously, we've got to have the resources available. And there we go. Oh, it had a bit of a problem there and it ended up building the second one. So now it's building, because we're on here, we'll end up building three of these. So let me just stop that before we uh, go any further. Perfect. So um, yeah, that would end up building about three of these ships to send out against our targets. And we can get this building aircraft we could have them one down here to build submarines if the vehicles are underwater vehicle, build some hunter killers, um, etc. So we can have a, a few different items that are being built by these uh, different spawners. Over here is another spawner. Uh, this will build a different aircraft. So if we set this one to go 90, test. This one, uh, once it's started building, I'll move it back. Yep, we can see that one is building, and that's going to build a different ship. There we go. So we can see all of the, the spawners are working on those. Um, so that's that's how we're going to spawn the various ships. A couple of other little bits, other, other blocks which are useful. Subspawners. This is a vehicle spawner. Now, this doesn't actually spawn a vehicle. Um, the name's a little bit of a, it's a sub-vehicle spawner rather than necessarily a actual creator. And this is in, let me just make sure I'm in the right place, miscellaneous um, sub-vehicle sub spawner. Uh, here we go, down on the le left-hand side, sub-vehicle spawner. And it aims, you aim it at the direction you want, um, it points out and it's done a, you can see the little arrow out there as to where it is aiming at this moment so what you do with this is once you have built the vehicle so we're going to say this vehicle here is going to be the ray and we confirm the selection now it's not a docking station the vehicle does not suddenly zoom zoom to this point and we'll do this one here, we'll put that eagle. There we go. Now, they haven't docked with this ship, but if I now go to the E menu to look at flick, flicks, you can see they've disappeared off. And they're no longer in this list. They are actually part of this launch platform. So if I take it out of play, those ships have also disappeared. If I bring it back into play, they spawn as part of. Whoops, that one uh, seems to have spawned on the ship. A uh, little, not not great. Didn't launch very well there, unfortunately. Um, but they actually launch as part of the ship. So we'll, in, when we build the proper carrier, we'll have to uh, get that um, set up correctly for it, so it launches uh, far enough away to actually fly away, etc just dock um, what you can do but you need to have spawned these initially uh, otherwise it just won't work yeah so um, they're part of it I've had a few problems with um, respawning the vehicle 
with these in sometimes they don't appear so but generally if they've been uh, if they were complete when you last saved the vehicle they will be there when you spawn it back in again next time so uh, let me just get out of here let me just uh, get that vehicle out of the way get some of these off then the final way we will do if I bring my launch platform back in again hopefully that will go away there we go we'll bring in a couple of the these and it's going a little crazy so I apologize my man there, let's, let's get rid of these let's, let's get rid of all of them there we go right the other part we will then do is we just scrap all of these get them out of the way it goes a bit crazy when I set up the uh, proper ship, we didn't have to spend a bit of time just making sure everything spawns at the right distances, out of the way, doesn't blow the whole ship up, basically. Right, the other part is docking stations. If I just launch one more ship, if I get just uh, bring in the ray, there we go. What we can do on a docking station is, um, select a vehicle turn it on and that vehicle will then be brought back in line with this docking station should be moving its way in anytime now and the good point about it is you, as you can see you can actually make it face upwards a little bit then i have to move that out a little bit it's obviously a little too close with the size of his wings so we'll move that there we go so he's out there and quite nicely and we'll do the same for here move that out to 30 as well whoops 50 we're going to do 30 there we go and um, and there we go so they are now pointed up as you saw in there we had an azimuth and um, elevation and what that allows you to do is point them in a particular direction so you can have them pointing backwards have them point to left right forwards and also what angle you can have them anything from vertically pointing up as a vertical launch to you know pointing downwards if you wanted to uh, which might be good for say submarines have them pointing downwards on this case we just have them pointing up a little bit we go so they're now docked as part of this now you can combine these so now I'm gonna on this one I'm gonna take confirm that selection and here I'm going to confirm the selection there we go and now they are docked and part of this ship so they are they are docked as well as being sub vehicles so if i now spawn this vehicle out and then bring it back in again you can see they go straight to their docked positions the spawners brought them in and then the docking station immediately grasped them um, into place to release them releasing these ones and recalling them again is a couple of control blocks so if we go to this one here this is a release all assigned vehicles to blocks in range, two meters. And this could be, again, part of a, um, uh, if the enemy gets within a certain range, release the aircraft. There we go. And that has now been released. So that can be um, one of the core uh, first things it does is it releases a, a standard set of aircraft off which are part of the vehicle spawner to uh, you know go after whatever enemy is and once the enemy is out of range again it can recall the vehicle and the vehicle should head back now I've had a few issues with getting them back but uh, again uh, it's generally been okay that's just learning the um, safe angles and attitudes to bring them back out so they don't blow crash into your ship when they're coming back um, generally it's, um, it's better to keep these at the edge of your ship and far away 
um, they can cause problems. So this one is uh, that did that one not come back? That one did not want to come back. Okay, we will um, turn it on. There we go. Obviously, I possibly did not have enough range. Um, the range on these are not necessarily to the block here. It's, it seems to be to the center. So you've got to have the range sometimes a little bit further than you think. So, okay, there we have the basic idea behind spawner vehicles and creating um, spawned vehicles um, on demand. Uh, the vehicles that get spawned here, then subsequently, we would scrap or put onto more docking stations. We'll decide how we're gonna do that once we've got the uh, vehicle. The idea I've got in my head is I'm gonna have a few runways, um, potentially. We're gonna have uh, one that say has got just the fighter aircraft on there, so aircraft which are suitable for um, fighting other air vehicles. Uh, we may also create a little bit of a hangar to put the vehicle in so that it gets spawned inside a hangar then shoots out and goes on. Uh, we'll have another runway um, next to it possibly which is for, um, a ve for an aircraft for attacking large surface vessels. Um, something like with with uh, maybe a, maybe a version of, of this flying ray. I might redo this, but put some big ass missiles on something. I've got a, a, a plan uh, so smaller than the Condor as a, just a little bit of a, a fighter, sorry, a bomber system. Then we might go for another one, which is say uh, anti fast moving vessel. So it's quick maybe cannon arms, similar, similar to this, but it's very similar to this vehicle actually. We might rework this Seagull. This is, as I say, is a very early design aircraft of mine, um, just for testing things around. Um, I might make a more, uh, more akin to the, the, the Rays, but designed for fast moving vessels. Um, and then maybe underneath, do some subs. Um, or other vessels or even PT turtles but something which is good for um, launching out. So we're going to create like a mothership which um, spawns in the vehicles depending on the um, enemy that is, that's attacking it um, and that is the plan. It's going to be very large as you can see um, to fit in at these aircraft we need quite a large runways. Um, it's going to have to have some self-defense guns, so we'll go for all of those. The other side is these ships are going to have to change. These took 10 to 15 seconds to build. That's too long. In a, certainly at the beginning of a fight, in that time they could have been destroyed. You know, we need a little quicker than that. So what I'm going to build, also in some episodes, is some smaller vessels. So we're going to have the idea being to have many small vessels rather than relying upon uh, a few large vessels. So this, this can be spawn something in, in within say five or six seconds. We're looking possibly, how big are these? Let's have a look at how big these are. These are 650 blocks. And what about this? Um, 700. I'd be looking around the 500, 450 to 500 blocks I think would be the key now we may find that we'll have less weapon systems on these ships which means we can keep the block count down we'll potentially have just one primary weapon system and possibly a secondary so in this case you've got the gun would be the main weapon system and we might forego the missiles or just have two missiles one on either side um, all that would mean is we save weight and can make the vessel smaller, cheaper to build, etc. Um, okay, so that is the plan at the moment. So this is sort of like making a, a new carrier, but this first one was just showing the technology we're going to use with the rubber runway, which is important, um, so that uh, the, the carrier doesn't take any damage from the ships as they bounce along and there's no explosions. Um, you can also put a runner, a rubber or wheels 
on the underneath of the drones and we'll give that a testing as well on this uh, platform we'll use this platform as a test bay when we're building the drones and we'll see to make sure that they don't take any damage and that they can take off adequately from this platform um, and uh, we'll have some have some fun with uh, small aircraft uh, small ships because uh, I, I might do some uh, it doesn't have to all be aircraft we could spawn in some uh, PT turtle type equivalents for specific tasks um, so any little patrol boats or small ships ideas would be good um, I might even look be prepared to look for some um, small vessels off the steam workshop to look at but I'll, I'll think I think I enjoy building these myself um, so hopefully you enjoyed that um, hopefully there'll be a campaign before we get finished with this build this might be a take a little while to build um, before we get finished with this one there might hopefully be a, a new campaign um, uh, video up but please leave any comments below click that good old like button and hopefully until next time I hope you all have fun <laughs>